Hello my friends, I welcome you all to the Creative Thinkers Hub channel. Today we are going to be seeing that how we could embed chat GPT in Excel. So for that, first all we need to do is open a blank book, okay, and uh, come here, say insert, okay. If you have an older version, you will get this thing that uh, get add-ins. If you can't find that here, okay, what you need to say insert and add in is what you need to search for, okay, insert and add in. Once you click on that, you come into store, okay, and you type chat GPT, okay, and say search. Now, my friends, if you see, uh, it's very simple, you can just add this and you'll have chat GPT uh, in your, as an add in, uh, in your uh, home page right here okay in this top corner okay but there is a problem here it says additional purchase may be required okay in all these chat gpt all three of them that it is saying okay it says additional purchase may be required okay so if i say add and i say continue okay let's see what happens so it says that okay so you say allow and continue if you see chat gpt is already added over here okay so i don't want to allow this i say cross i say close and i say remove add okay the reason being it might ask me for money and that's not what i want to do i want to take make sure that you know um, I'm, I'm i'm doing it for free so what i need to do is uh come to uh go into your google search and type embed chat gpt in excel okay okay listen data.com you come to listendata.com once you click on this this is the website that opens then you come down and uh, is chat gpt a free api yes okay it is absolutely free so why should you pay okay all you need to do have is you do not even require a license of excel 365 that's what it says but to get your key okay to get your key you need to have a license agreement now you say download add-in, it will say save as, let's add it to our downloads and say save, okay. So this is your Excel plugin. Now how do you add it in, okay. So let's open our downloads, okay. Here it is, now you have to say right click properties and make sure that you know read only, hidden, whatever that is now, it is unchecked and say unblock unblock is very very important otherwise you won't be able to run it in say apply and say okay okay then let's see so this is done now what you need to do go into the file tab go into ribbon options add-ins and now you add in chat gpt so go into file options okay here you go into add-ins now excel add-ins and say go now you come into browse and go to your necessary add-in and say okay and say okay fine so this is now added in your can you see the chat gpt it's added your it's not added in your home page like it was before so therefore this you don't have to pay for so my friend uh, in this now uh, as you can see the chat gpt formula is already here now let's say that you know i want to find the CEO of these company and you know what is the name of the CEO. I have to come here and I have to say AI assistant and here I have to type dollar B dollar two. Okay. Come here and say, okay. So as you can see, it says that, you know, uh, I need to fetch for my API key. Now, what is this API key and uh, how do you get it? Okay. There are variations here also. But uh, other than 3.5 right now, uh, nothing else is optional. Even if you have an account of 4, GPT-4, okay, it is not going to be operational and that's what you have to work with. So now how do I get my API key? What you need to do is come to this website, platform.openai.com, okay? And uh, so I, uh, I come here, I right click and open a new link tab. Now this is the page that you will be coming to. So what you need to do the option here is either you log in with uh, your uh, Gmail account or you log in with your Microsoft account. 
I would prefer that you have a Microsoft account for one very simple reason you are using a Microsoft product. Okay, so it's always better to have that. It's not a compulsory, but it's better. Okay, so I come here, click on the Microsoft account. Now, as soon as I click, because I've already logged in, okay, uh, I'm going to directly get in. Otherwise, it'll ask you, please put your username, password. It will give you the whole sequence of, you know, how you basically have to log in. So, you have to create this. And then, once your profile is done, you are going to get this page. View API keys, okay? So under this, you get API keys. Now, when you click on this, it will say, please create a new secret key. So you have to say, okay, I want to create a secret key. So this is my secret key right now. Okay. Uh, there is uh, nothing to secret about that one. The secret is your uh, view API key. Okay. Do not share your API key with others or expose your browser or the client code in order to have to protect your security of your account. So I'm going to, this is my API key, which I created on the 10th of December. I'm just going to copy paste this particular thing which I have copied on my browser and I'm going to paste it here and say submit. Okay. Now, as soon as uh, it says, so it says, I'm sorry, but your question seems to be incomplete. Could you please provide me the name of the company you are referring to? Okay. Is equal to AI. You see that AI assistant is now active. Now it's not going to ask me anything else. Otherwise, first it was asking me what it is. So you click on AI assistant. And you type CEO of, okay, give a space, close this and E5, okay, so and E5, so it's going to come to Alibaba. If I want, I can go to E4 also, okay, so it's going to give me the CEO, it's going to look it up online and as of July 2001, the CEO of Amazon is Andy Jassy. However, prior to this, this is going to give me the whole history. Okay. So, if I want it in one word, okay, how do I get it in one word? So, that you have to type is equal to AI assistant CEO of and C5. Okay, let's make it C4, comma, one. Okay, that don't give me all these things. Just give me a one word answer. So one is your one word answer. And say, it. so it will give you Bezos. Okay, because the most highly known person, it will give you. And that same thing, you just have to copy paste and put it. So your Reliance, Ambani, Walmart, Magdalene, Apple, Tim Cook, Okay, how long will it take for you to search individually something like this? Lots of time. This is at a click of a button by just typing in a prompt. Now, let's take this further. Okay, so come here and now we are going to train AI to basically now we have got some input which we took the trouble, you know, to find uh, things and, you know, get the things. So, but the remaining, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm very bored. So I, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't have a time. I'm running short of time. Your best fetch is come here. So fill data. Okay. Fill data is your option. Got it? So that's what you need to do. So you need to come here. Okay. So is equal to AI assistant and you have to say fill data. Okay. Come here. Click on this. And now what do you have to do? Is that this is source and target okay so it works as source and target so this is my source from here till here okay till here this is my source okay comma and this is my target a7 okay so once i do here uh, come here it will look and it will it goes online and it gives you new delhi now if i just take this come here and okay so i got my um, company. So now let's get on to this one. Okay. Now these are a little uh, off and they are fictional. Let's put some real names. Okay. So now this is what is going to work. And now let's see if it works well for the 
other country so it's going to look at the best performing company and all and then later on we'll see how we could get the ceo okay so let's go to equal to ai assistant fill data and now let's start filling the data so our this is our source till here okay this is what i need come here say comma and this is my target now let's see what it gives in Germany. Volkswagen, not bad. Okay. And let's fill this right up till here. So this is, so let's come here and fill it. Scott here back. Noah Scott here. Okay. Now we want the name. So again, we take an example. Come here equal to. AI assistant fill data okay from your colon till your comma this is my target company close it and enter. so this is what you will get. so this is how we get all these data okay it's really simple and yeah yes we did get United Kingdom so this one was a little faulty let's see if we get some other name here okay what happens if we put another name here okay how does it affect the future of all the other things that have worked around everything will be changed okay so if there is an error it has to be corrected there and there otherwise everything will change okay all your further formulas are going to be corrupted okay otherwise it's always better to give this range all the time so here also instead of giving d5 i would want to give d3 okay to e not 8 6 okay so let's make this a constant okay and now let's generate so this is what it will give let's do the same even for this so e3 to f6 is what is our core okay copy this and give it the same thing over here also okay from here give the same range something that we are confirm about we know it's not going to go wrong okay now this uh, if you see my friends this is a error by chat gpt now because this is an error okay let's say uh, there is what we can do is copy this and say paste special okay so because it's a formula we say paste special so all okay from here copy and a special only the text okay so i want to so this is giving me an error in france okay uh, how about i go to another country altogether let's say uh, um, Singapore okay let's see if there is a Singapore company and we come here and let's say now we need a company in Singapore okay let's see if Singapore has any manufacturing DBS holding okay so now when we come here and we get into a formula it will give me the DBS holding let's come here copy this e9 and enter use gupta okay okay so this is how it's worked okay my friends so this is how you can work around this now if you see this the values are not shown anyway now let's come here now uh this is a brand new thing okay it's very different from what we are doing so 
uh, what we are going to do is over here is equal to AI assistant and we are going to go into extractor so extract the name of the person okay I wanted to go into the extractor extract the name of the person from this thing okay from this one so this is the uh, the the source from which I want to extract the name of the person okay and let's see what comes up so Jessica and we copy paste okay why is it giving me Jessica here it should be giving me Carlos okay so let's see if it's giving me Carlos so is equal to AI extractor from this okay I want to come to a3 comma b1 okay and it gives me Carlos so let's see if this is copy pasting no it doesn't work okay so every for every in this in in some of them it may work in some it might not b1 yeah daniel okay now you get the hang of it okay so now these let's say we come here now let's see place of birth if it is here taking this thing as an extractor from this statement let's see if it is giving me Seattle amazing and let's see if it is giving me the organization organization Amazon okay same thing AI system extractor and this is the parent statement and this is the organization and that's about it. okay so my friends this is the end of this video there is a if you have more to learn okay you could just hop on to this uh, website listendata.com and it will teach you all the other options of you know explain translator chat fill data okay so it kind of does everything uh, for you okay so the prompt and the keyword prompt and the keyword that's what we did fill data we did the existing data and what you want to fill it what you, what, what is your target okay so the range of the existing data and your target so that's what it is so there should be this is you can go insights q a all of these as you can see when i type ai over here okay ai all these are explained in full over there so if you like this video please like subscribe and do not forget to share because only sharing increases knowledge thank you